Hi, I'm Catherine Birkin and I'm an online reporter with The Herald Sun in Melbourne. I cover breaking news, entertainment stories and lots of AFL. And I also have my own feature web video series called Cat's Eye. Here's some of my work. The $15 million redevelopment will firmly cement the kangaroo's future here at Arden Street and an important part of the development will be the building of a multicultural learning centre which the club is hoping will help it to build closer ties to its local community. So this week on Cat's Eye we've come to the Exchange Hotel in Melbourne to learn all about the art of flirting. Pollock was struck by a tram here at the corner of Orong Road and Dandenong Road at about 11pm on Saturday. The 24-year-old was leaving his Armadale home with teammate Cleve Hughes to get into a taxi with another teammate, Jordan McMahon, when the incident happened. Nearly 50% of Australian adults admit to having cheated on a partner at some stage in their lives. But how do you know whether your partner is being unfaithful? This week on Cat's Eye, we're going undercover with a private investigator to check out how they catch out cheating partners. Impressing the judges is no easy feat. These hopefuls follow in the footsteps of the modelling elite, including Sarah O'Hare and Megan Gale. Aussies are working longer and harder than ever. Over a fifth of Australians are clocking up nearly 50 hours a week. So it's hardly surprising that many of us are finding comfort in the arms of a co-worker. But navigating the rules of office romance can be tricky. When is it okay to hook up with a co-worker and can you date the boss? Melbourne is home to some amazing landmarks including the MCG and the Royal Botanical Gardens. So it's hardly surprising that when it comes to finding breathtaking views, we're not short of options. If you're keen to get your feet off the ground, a ride on Melbourne's giant sky wheel gives you great views of the Yarra. If you're after more of a thrill, the Metropolis at Luna Park gives you fantastic views over St Kilda. For a complete view of Melbourne that will absolutely blow your breath away, you can't go past a hot air balloon ride at sunrise. Hi, I'm Catherine Firkin with a news update. A fiery debate erupted on a popular US TV talk show on Tuesday night when a panel of celebrities, including veteran journalist Barbara Walters, discussed the Chappelle Corby drug case. One panellist on the show branded Bali's drug laws crazy and supported the campaign to boycott Bali as a tourist destination. The number of Australian students attending university has fallen for only the second time in 50 years, according to opposition spokeswoman Jenny Macklin. The number of students attending university fell by more than 3,000 students from 2005 to 2006. And an Aboriginal ceremonial board from the Kimberley region has set a new record after selling at a Sydney auction on Tuesday night for more than $100,000. Paddy Jiminji's Moon, Sun and Stars has been hailed as one of Australia's oldest and most important ceremonial boards to be put up for public sale. To the weather, and the showers will continue across Melbourne with a fine day predicted for tomorrow. At the moment, it's 16 degrees. I'll have more news for you in an hour. Hello again. Well, it's been another wet and chilly day in Melbourne with a top of just 18 degrees, which we reached at around 1 this afternoon. And if you thought it was unusually cold this morning, you'd be right. Melbourne experienced its coldest morning in six months with overnight temperatures getting down to a chilly 10.4 degrees. Tomorrow's forecast is cloudy with some smoke haze at first, followed by a few showers and a possible thunderstorm. A broad low pressure trough will spread rain across most of the state with some moderate falls expected. And there are some more showers predicted for this evening. At the moment, it's 15 degrees. I'll have more weather for you in an hour.